and we are here presenting one of our Lota folktale about a man called Rampa and the Tiger. Once upon a time, in a village called Monty Loncham, there lived an angry and ferocious tiger who happened to kill nine women in a day, out of which a young and a pregnant woman was killed, who happens to be the wife of Rampa, a man known for his bravery in the village. He was deeply hurt knowing the truth about his beloved wife. The villagers take decisions in leaving the village, looking for a safer place, as they felt there is no certainty for the future. Rampa stands and stops them, saying, I will kill the tiger and take his head. As it killed my wife and my unborn child, I will live for him tonight. After much preparation, Rampa was finally ready for the battle, as nothing could stand between him and his choice for revenge. He wore ten small gut bamboos in his fingers and took along his yandam. As he went in search for the tiger, he found the dead bodies lying on the ground in a row. Rampa rushed and lay down along with the dead bodies. Shortly, the tiger came with roars sniffing the ground and took a bite of the first body and saying, This is the one I hunt near the river and took another bite from the next and say, This is from the woods I hunt. The tiger now sniffs Rampa and keep aside him without any harm. As the tiger begged them and only what they had hunted, the tiger went to sleep and left Rampa with an advantage. But Rampa couldn't take the risks and so waited in silence he had in his fingers to see if the tiger was fully asleep when he cracked the first bamboo, but it moved its ears, which was a sign of the tiger being alert. He broke the bamboos one after the other, and finally left with a single bamboo, but the tiger was still awake. Before breaking the last bamboo, Rampa said to himself, This time, I would not survive, as it would make me believe that the tiger never fully asleep. After some few time, Rampan broke the last piece of bamboo, which made him more courage, and this time the tiger didn't move its ear, and he chopped off the tiger's head with his yantam. Rampan then made a significant sound of victory over the tiger's death. He sadly buried his beloved wife among the rocks with tears and marched forward to his village, shouting, I have killed the tiger. I have avenged for you all. I have ended all your fears. On the other hand, the villagers were leaving the village as one of them shouted, We have spread the chef, follow the chef. As been told, Rampa followed the chef on the ground and suddenly he saw a woman with deadly skin disease. She was left all alone to die as her skin disease was incurable. The woman told Rampa that a snake was circling a leaf, hissing and saying her name, Monslo is my name. Then Monslo told him to wrap the leaves and apply it on her infected body, which was followed by Rampa, leading her to heal completely. Monslo, a beautiful woman, was later married to Rampa and led a happy married life with a son and a daughter. Monslo's parents also came to know about their daughter, whom they thought was dead. They were glad about the news of their marriage and blessed them. The yantan which Rampa used to kill the tiger is still in Akko village of Woka district. The moral of the story is, bravery leads to victory.